Welcome to NASCAR Race Hub on a Thursday edition. I'm Caitlin Vinci alongside Shannon Spake, Regan Smith, Casey Mears, also with his big show today, guys. Big show. Big show. It's been a big week, and, and we're going to see what he does when he hops back in the race car. But last year at this time, Martin Truex Jr. and the 78 team flexed their muscles for their second win of the year and followed it up again in the fall. This weekend, Martin will have an opportunity to score his first three-peat at a NASCAR Cup Series venue. It really awesome. is. First up, those Kansas. You guys going to a like, barbecue place while you're there? No, it's, it's famous for the barbecue. We won't have time. Have you seen the schedule? Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but the crew chiefs don't know anything. That's right. <laughs> what is a barbecue place? That absolutely is going to come back to haunt you forever. more than you Especially ever know. Especially when salary review Make comes up. up. <laughs> you don't do anything. Uh, <laughs> hey, Chad, this is uh, Rick Hendrick on the line. Hey. About that crew chief doesn't hey, do anything conversation. <laughs> Welcome back to The Hub, where it is now time for The Pulse. And for that, we bring in Dave Moody, the godfather from SiriusXM. Dave, great to have you with us. As always, let's start big picture with Clint Boyer snapping that 190 race winless streak this past week and a big moment for him in Martinsville. That was a huge moment for him in Upright and speaking English was a big shock. <laughs> yeah, that's impressive. Now, we saw there in those clips a lot of fellow competitors coming over congratulating Clint. Drew, why do you think this was such a popular win amongst the folks in the garage. Well, Caitlin, I, I think his, his big personality. It's a, yeah. it's a long pit road too, Regan, so you're going to yeah. get your steps in. There we yeah. go. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. But before we get to Talladega, let's recap one of the biggest news of the week. In case you missed it, there's a new cowboy in the stable at Roush Fenway Racing. Matt Kenseth will be returning to the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series in 2018. Roush made the announcement yesterday that Matt will run a partial schedule in the six car sharing driving duties with current driver Trevor Bain. The first race back for Matt will be the night race in Kansas on May 12th. A bit of a homecoming for him. He began his Cup Series career with Jack Roush back in 1998, Shannon. Yeah. Welcome back to Race Hub, where it is time to continue our kickoff to Women in Wheels for 2018. And in the second part of our feature with rising star Haley Deegan, she discusses the youth movement in NASCAR and what it's like being the next female in the wings to the top levels of the sport. Yeah, and it seems like Eric's in a really good place just in general in his life. He took to Twitter recently to post a tweet about how he's having the time of his life right now on the track and off. Thanks for the opportunity, Smoke, Tony Stewart, of course, and thanks to all you guys for coming along for the ride. So, Casey, what is that like, you think, for him right now, just the experience he's having as a whole at Stewart Haas well, Racing? I can definitely put myself in his shoes. You know, I mean, to, to see Eric get that Welcome back to Race Hub. It may seem like a long time ago, nine races ago, in fact, but the last time we were on a restrictor plate racetrack, it was Austin Dillon who took the win at Daytona. And that win is the only time we've seen Chevrolet in victory lane this season. When it comes to Talladega, the Bowtie Brigade is up against some serious history. As we mentioned earlier, when we crunch the numbers, Ford has won the last five Talladega races. Here's what Austin Dillon thinks about going two for two on the plate tracks. Austin talks about playing the chess game. It's a little bit hard to believe that Chevrolet has not been to victory lane since the season opener at the Daytona 500. Where do you think Chevy is at right now? Well, I think Chevy's at a point where they're happy to be going to Talladega <laughs> since they did have the win at Daytona rolling off the good performances. And one driver who's starting to make some little gains week by week would be Jimmy Johnson on a steady climb in the points position after some recent races. He was top five at Bristol, top 10 at Richmond. So he has now quietly moved himself up into 15th in the points down names. And don't forget, he does have two Talladega wins to his credit. Maybe he could get his first one of 2018 this weekend. Shannon? Well, I made that joke there because truthfully, when I was talking to her, I was blown yeah. away by her maturity, by her poise. What impressed you guys the most about young Haley Deegan? Uh, off-road racing. <laughs> that's her, that's her, I mean, soccer racing is awesome for uh, for a girl to be able to do that, but off-road... Uh... If you mentioned Danica Patrick, and I actually asked Haley if she's had a chance to talk to her. She said, not too much, but what can she learn from Danica Patrick and the way she went about things in her career? Well, Danica was obviously, you know, very uh, helpful to the sport of NASCAR and what she did and handled herself on the track, off the track. So I definitely believe she can uh, emulate what she's done and, and take... Welcome back to Race Hub on a Thursday. And one year ago, Eric Almarola's racing career changed dramatically. A horrific crash at Kansas Speedway left him injured and out of the car. One year later, he's back with a new team and is off to the best start of his career. But the road back was anything but easy. 